Hello everybody, welcome along to our Saturday afternoon live. Um, it's really nice to see you and the last time I saw you was Tuesday so it hasn't been a whole heck of a time or anything, I just feel like it's been a while. Uh, this it will be our last Saturday live for a while um, but we are doing a live tomorrow and then we're off for two weekends. So, sorry. Um, I really am sorry, but we need a bit of a break and I need the time to sort other things out that are kind of going on in the background at the moment. Anyway, that's enough of that. Nice to see you all. Thanks for choosing to spend some time with us. And sometimes I know it's ungodly hours and you still do it and I'm very appreciative. Today we're going to be cracking on with the Let It Snow little journal. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you first of all about um, this little folio that I did and you all seem to like it. I don't think I've ever had so many positive comments on a YouTube video that I've put up ever. So thank you very much. I just thought we'd have a quick little look through it for those that haven't seen the video. Um, it's got a button, string and button clasp on it there and it opens up like so and it opens up like that and like that. So it's quite long when it is opened up. Um, in here we've got a little notebook with, um, well it says druggist, chemist, they're all sort of pharmacy related things. And they're from Lorna Taylor, Taylor Made Journals Pharmacy, the pharmacist kit, that's right, which she gifted me. Um, so if you, I mean, it's got poison signs and things. Can you see that? <laughs> which really amuses me. Um, and I've just made a collage of them. And then I've used my Cosmic Shimmer Gilding uh, paste to go through a stencil, just to give it a bit of, because I quite like the idea of sort of rust. And you know, sometimes when you see rust, it has got this green, especially if it's copper, it's got this greeny sort of patination to it. So um, I, I used that. Uh, this is a piece of beautiful white lace that Hilda gifted me and I felt so awful about colouring it up but uh, it worked out really well I think and I really like it uh, and it's just in there with another uh, journaling card and then here we have the actual journal itself uh, these papers are from My Porch Prints uh, there's some coffee stained paper, some vintage music uh, ledger paper, more coffee paper, graph paper, then this beautiful vellum. And it's proper vellum, it's not tracing paper, pretending to be vellum. It is vellum and it's really thick and lovely. Coffee paper, coffee, part of another sheet of vellum. I thought I'd spoil whoever gets this. It's really lovely. Coffee stained paper and a map in the middle, and then so it goes on all the way back exactly the same and isn't that lovely paper that's a lovely kit that from my porch prints um i thought i'd really struggle with grunge it's kind of not my thing i mean those of you that know me know i like my florals and botanicals and that sort of thing and i just well it was getting those wallpaper books really that pushed me towards grunge and i thought well i've never done it let's give it a whirl and i really did enjoy it i will do it again uh, this is the altered paper clip that you saw me make on Tuesday. And then there's a little uh, journaling card in behind that. Tummy tuck down here. So the altered paper clip holds everything together. And the, um, the back of this is a collage as well of that vintage music paper and some coffee stain paper that I put through with an embossing, embossing? <laughs> Hello. embossing plate. And then once I'd done it, I just ran walnut stain over the top of it just to catch the tops and it gives that lovely uh, I really like that I'll use that again and then this is a this journaling card once again it's collaged up I've used the cosmic shimmer on it I've put some really it's properly vintage lace I know you hear everybody these days oh this is vintage lace and that's vintage lace um this is vintage lace um another poison label <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I've got so many poison labels and a bit of sari silk there and they just uh, that's uh, more paper from my porch prints down there and they all go in there and they get 
put on that paper clip. Then we have the chap himself, the pharmacist. And I've recently acquired a typewriter. <laughs> so I could type out my own um, name for him, look. So he is the pharmacist. Uh, and here he is, a very upright looking gentleman, a uh, dapper Victorian guy with his monocle and his bowler hat, his walking cane. Yeah, he looks just the job. Um, and then we've got a journaling card in behind him. More of that, this paper, um, a design paper there. And the, the side pocket that he's on is actually some teal green, very, very shiny non-woven fabric. I don't know what it is. I think they make uh, dance dancers' costumes out of it, that sort of thing. It was in some remnants I bought years ago now. Uh, and I've covered that with some black lace that looks to me like fishnet stockings. <laughs> uh, and some cream lace there that I've just put down just so you could sort of see him a, a bit better. And that fits in there. They're all uh, inked on the back and tab there. Uh, and then we've got in the side here, we've got another tab um, and it's got some copper glitz on, some some teal colours, more uh, pharmacy labels. And yeah, another one that says poison. I don't know why I got so hung up on poison, but I did. I, I quite like the idea of it saying poison, but I don't know why. And then... I'm going to get Bob to try my tea before I have it tonight. <laughs> I know, quite into the poison. So bear in mind this dapper gent, we turn over and here, well, I said when I did the flip through that it, it's his wife, she's a seamstress and here's a scissors. Actually, what I really think it is, in my heart of hearts, I think it's his mistress. But it might be his wife. It's up to you to decide, but looks a bit mistressy to, <laughs> to me. Um, and I've put some sort of damask type stencil on there. I don't know if you can see if it's picking it up. There you go. Um, just to make it look more like fabric. And I've put lace uh, around there, both sides. And I've uh, done it up <laughs> like a corset. And I've put a journaling card in there that's got scissors on it. I've got the giggles now. And I've attached um, a pair of scissors there. <laughs> Better behave himself. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh, dear. <sighs> Sorry, guys. And that folds over. And then down the side here, down the spine, just to, after I'd sewn the signature in, I uh, had some ribbon that was looked like a tape measure. And actually, it was in white. So I stained it with vintage photo. And I've stuck that onto there just to... Uh, support the spine a bit i'm sorry i've got, really got the giggles and that's it that's that it is for sale in both my etsy shop and my um made me shop should you wish to own such a scurrilous thing anyway that's that enough about that already drugs and mistresses drugs and mistresses that's yeah <laughs> drugs mistresses and the odd bit of poison <laughs> Um, now then, I just want to tell you about this, which arrived today in the post. I didn't even know such a thing existed. It's obviously an Edith uh, type thing, as you can see. And on the f on the front of it is what we get on the front of the um, Edith books, the, the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady book, which is a lovely image in itself, actually. Willow Warbler Feeding Young. And it is a a long playing record, an LP. Uh, and it says, excerpts from the diary spoken by Francesca Annis and Leo McKern with the music of Elgar, Frank, Chopin, Bach, Stelius, Mozart, Poulenc. Oh, Butterworth, Honegger, Tippett, Ravel and Vivaldi. So you've got the whole smatter in that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have an LP player but that is not going to spoil my enjoyment of this because wait till you see what's inside. Look at that. How fabulous. How absolutely fabulous. These are beautiful images. Look at them. They're so 
Oh. I mean, this one in the book is always one that I cut around. I cut the back out of it. I never use that image because it always looks a bit dull in the book. But here it's beautiful. And they're all named with the months, um, September, obviously, October, November and so on. So what a beautiful addition these will make to, you know, my year journal that I still haven't started. It's going to be... <laughs> going to be the year 2030 by the time that's finished um but it doesn't matter because i'm not saying anything about what year it is just which month of the year it is and i think that they will be a fabulous addition to uh to the months of my journal <laughs> oh i'm really sorry i've got the giggles um so thank you very much jg who sent this i think you called janet someone I can't track you down on the rack list. I don't know who you are, but I'm very, very grateful to you. Thank you very much. You obviously know me well enough to know that my weakness in life is Mr. F, chocolate, and Edith Holton. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> so thank you so much. It's beautiful. Look at that along the bottom there. Isn't that beautiful? It really is. Thank you ever such a lot for thinking about me and taking the time to send it and, and, and the care involved. Uh, I also bought myself, oop, there goes the Fabri-Tec, uh, a, a sort of present today. It's a weird sort of present, isn't it, that you buy yourself when you're a junk journal. Uh, and this is it. Look, they're all, cr um, what do you call them? What do you call these? Bulb clips. Um, uh, Carrie, I'm pretty sure it was Carrie or Candice. It was one of the K twins. I can't remember which one now. Sent me some coloured bulb clips, which I didn't know you could get. Um, so I've used up all the ones that were gifted to me and I thought I'd have a look on Amazon and see what they had. And so look at all these yummy, yummy colours. I mean, isn't that perfect for Edith, that one there? And this one's copper. will come in nicely for uh, grungy, grunge, grunge. And this, you know, silver, gold, metallic purple. Oh, I don't know when I'd use that, but I like the idea that I ever would. Um, and sort of bronzy coloured. So that's a nice present to myself, I think. <laughs> um, I just need to find a place to put it. I, I bought this set specifically because it came in a box. Because I know how untidy I am. Before you know it, they'd be all over the bottom of a drawer. So this one comes in a box that keeps it nice and uh, tidy for me. I think from now on, if ever I buy anything, I'm going to buy it boxed like this. You know, like sequins or beads or whatever, because um, otherwise you just can't find what it is you're, you're after. I'll put that there. It's a bit precarious. So if there's a bit of a thud, you know what it is. Right. Where was I before? I was rudely interrupted with the fit of the giggles. Um, we're looking at uh, this little journal here that we're doing. And I'd really quite like to get it done. Sorry? Roll call. Roll yeah. call? Yeah, roll call before I get cracking. Terry. Hi, Terry. Hilda. Hello, Hilda. Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Jania. Hello, Jania. Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Roz. Hi, Roz. Jean. Hi, Jean. Tiffany. Hello, Tiffany. Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Bernice. Hello, Bernice. Sugar Mama. Terry. Oh, Kerry, your sugar mama. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Kerry. Oh, Dixie. Oh, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be adult about this and say hello, Michelle. <laughs> Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Linda. Hi, Linda. Flo. Hi, Flo. Miranda. Hello, Miranda. Esther. Hello, Esther. Jan. Hi, Jan. Zanet. Hi, Zanet. Connie. Hi, Connie. Cindy. Hello, Cindy. Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Leslie M. Hi, Leslie. I think that's it. If I miss you, shout out. Wow. Well, loads of you today. Thanks very much for joining me. Just having a quick look down. I think we're all there. Uh, I think he hasn't missed. Oh, Tracy. Hi, uh, morning. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to say, oh, Dixie, because <laughs> she's calling me Fiona now. Ah, Tracy, <laughs> come on. Yeah, she has. Right, look, come on. We're just going to sit here all day chatting. And as nice as that would be, I don't think that's why you, I don't know, it might be why you joined me. I have no idea. 
Oh dear, I've got I've just got giggles, okay. I'm thinking that this is um blue and white, and I don't really want to introduce any cream to it. So um but it's walking, it's really walking quite a lot this. But some of the pages I can't chop things off like this one, or I'll chop a bit of the snow off. So my way of getting around that will be to add some lace to there and then you won't see the walking part of it okay for those of you new to junk journaling don't don't worry about anything that i've just said it's just um we'll come on to that later on i must say to everybody and i know most of you that join me here uh, in the lives you've been with me <laughs> from the beginning of this whole episode and um, you're now definitely not beginners. You know, you've watched enough, you've done enough, you're experienced enough now uh, that you know pretty much, I'm sure, what I'm going to do before I do it. But we do have a lot of new starters who join the group. When people ask to join the group, they have to be approved. And there's three questions. Um, do you sell your junk journals? How long have you been making junk journals? And do you abide by the, agree to abide by the rules? And it is amazing how many, a huge percentage of people say they're absolutely brand new to it or they've been doing it for six weeks or maybe even since the beginning of lockdown, something like that, but they're still newbies and they're not really sure what they're doing. So over Christmas, I'm hoping that we're going to have a series where we will make something, but from absolute real, real start, you know, selecting your paper, I mean, the, the kind of paper, not your papers, um, right through to a finished uh, article. Something you can be really proud of, but I'm going to walk you through it literally step by step. So those of you that um, are a bit more experienced, <laughs> I'm just looking at the comments <laughs> about Sugar Mama. <laughs> Carry. <laughs> um, those of you that are a bit more experienced, you might not want to watch them. You might find it a bit tedious. I don't know. Watch Elf on telly instead. Yeah, watch Elf. <laughs> Elf's my favourite. Festive movie. I think it's hysterical. <laughs> I've seen it so many times. Uh, oh, dear me. I can't get my head into this now. Right, so this is the cover of it, and I have stuck some little silver stars on in an attempt to raise it somewhat. But I bet you can't even see the blinking silver stars, for one thing, because they're microscopic. And it needs more than that, anyway. So I'm going to take the cover off, put that to one side. Gunny says hi. Hi, Gunny. Nice to see you. Jenny says you're amazing. No, I'm not. And Flo says your 101 series are excellent. Oh, excellent. Well, you know, Flo, you don't need it anymore, I mean, do you really? But sometimes it's quite interesting just to watch things slowly go past. Um, I intend to do it in a series, not, not of lives, because I'm having time off, um, but a series of... Deads. Deads. <laughs> Deads, says Mr. F. <laughs> yeah, what's the opposite of live? Well, you're dead, yeah. No, videos. Videos, Mr. F. Oh. Mm. So, right, look, I want to jazz this up quite a bit. And what I want to do is use these stickles. Well, this is proper stickles and this is Dovecraft glitter glue, but the, you know, ostensibly the same kind of thing. So I've got a dark blue called Midnight. I've got this turquoisey uh, one called Topaz, I think. Topaz. And this one that you saw me use on the other winter one, which is silver. Um, but I didn't think I had much of that left, but it feels quite heavy. So the other thing that I've got is um, my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. And I've also got Spectrum Noir Sparkle Ink with glitter in it. So I wouldn't mind using, you know, a bit of this and a bit of that on here. The thing is, however, if I do... It's going to go through the paper and it's going to spoil this side. Well, looking at this side, I'm I'm not going to be totally. What's up? I'm just going to move you. 
across a little because you're just behind yourself oh. as it were behind myself no i'm not behind myself anymore um yeah the putting wet medium on the front of here is going to come through here and particularly this big white part here it's going to ruin so i'm i'm prepared for that and i've got a piece of paper here that i will stick down uh on onto the wrong side of that so i can cope with the uh the bit of buckling and stuff that we're going to get so seeing as i'm doing it on there i might as well do it on the back as well because i'm going to cover the whole thing so uh right that's as much thought as i'd given this live today guys so now we're flying by the seat of our pants this blue it is it is a blue it's undeniably a blue but it's kind of a a turquoisey blue um, and I'm wondering whether it would be better to use that topaz rather than the midnight. I think the topaz is a better match. So, hmm, do I need a paintbrush? Possibly. Can you get yeah, can you save that little filbert? It's a tiny little filbert. Is there one anywhere? I might have put it back in here. No, I wouldn't have put it back, would I? Let's have a look. They're all watercolour ones. Oh, that's the fella. Thank you. I've also got some really small ones here. Should I need them? I'll leave that one out. It's a really touchy one. It's actually It actually came from a set for doing nails. You know, nail art. But it's handy for this sort of thing. Right, let's start at the top and then I won't be putting my hand in uh, in glitter glue as we go along. So turn it this way. So I'm just going to put some glitter glue along this top of the icy bit here. So I'm going to start with the silver. I'll just get my pretend palette that I had last week. Oh yeah, just while I'm on the subject. Well, I'm not, am I really? Let's face it. I'll just change the subject now. <laughs> the stencils, oh, not that one. The stencils that I used in the pharmacist are these ones, okay? Uh, and what they are, it's a die cut set from Tim Holtz, Sizzix die cut. You can't even see that. Um, there, you can see them now. I shall bring them to you. So that's them, and it's a die cut set, but we cut them out of mylar, and then you get the opposite, so you get a stencil. I've, do, I've done it several times with other things before, I think I've shown you. Um, there's the the leaf one, and and the... What's this pants? I can't even really see. Ah, perfect. Yeah, now you can see, look. Uh, yeah, I did it. You know, the wildflower one that is everybody's got. I, I cut it out of mylar, put it through the Sizzix with mylar, and this is what you get. So you're left with a stencil that you can use. I wouldn't say they're the, the most um, robust of stencils, but I've, I've been using these for ages, and uh, they're still in one piece. Right, that was a bit of an aside. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with the silver at the top and I might migrate into the um, topaz. I'll just pretend it's a ketchup bottle. There we go. I'll start with that amount. Probably going to need a little bit more, but we'll see as we go along. So just a little bit of silver just along the top. I do like these this stickle stuff. It's, it's nice. I'm going to come down, but I am going to go over that as well with topaz, where it's kind of turquoise, where you can see that it's printed turquoise. It might be rubbish. I haven't tried this before. It's, it's a possibility it will end up total rubbish, but we'll see. 
Sharon says uh, Fiona List is on page two now. <laughs> what have you just added? She's just telling Jania, I think. What have you just added? What have I said? What did I say you need? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you said you need anything. It could be the um, the bulb clips. They're nice. I like glitter, them. maybe. Yeah, or the glitter. So I'm just going to go down these icicles, make them look a bit more icy. So sorry, this is not the most exciting live, is it? <laughs> but, you know, we're glittering, so it can't be that dull. I just got over all the, the glitter from the last time. Thought I'd finally sort of hoovered up. I say me, you know I don't hoover. <laughs> Mr. F had hoovered up the last of the glitter. And here I am with it again. I think this is making a difference even like this, even before we had the topaz, frankly. It's really jazzed it up. Because it was looking a bit um, flat. It was looking a bit flat. In fairness, don't know what that is down there, but we'll colour it, colour it in, glitter it up, make it look like it's part of the thing. I've never really been one for using glitter, um, but I do like this method of delivery using the the glitter glue, and I, I'd definitely do it again. I think. Well, I would do it again. I really would. I like it. Especially, you know, when you kind of paint it on with a paintbrush and you, you've got some control over where it's going. Although you wouldn't think that because I've missed, gone over the edges. Oh dear. That was always our cardinal rule as a child. You know, yes, you could colour in, get the crayons out, etc. But... Don't go outside the lines. <laughs> no, my mum was no artist. Right. Looks like that's a sort of tree or something down there. Okay, so that's it's looking nice, looking loads better. Let me see if I can show you. There you go. You can see there's loads of glitter on there. Um, I could put some, yeah, let's just put some on the top of the, what do you call it, eaves, is it called? The roof, the apex part of the roof. Jury says hi, and where's the paper from? Mm. It is, I don't know, I think it's, um, I don't know. Print, print, pretty princess papers or something like that. Uh, paper princess digital. That's it. So I've gone over nearly all of the roof actually, but um, and then that just leaves the the tree. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to sneeze again or not. Let's say no, unless some, unless it happens again, <laughs> and then it was yes. Okay, just need another little bit of uh, this silver. Not much. And I'm just going to, I might put some, you know, around the, the ground, as it were. I'm just going to add a little bit to to the boughs of this tree and to this one but I am going to come back in with a topaz I just want some silver down as well everybody's saying bless you oh thank you but they've got the fingers in their ears just in case <laughs> I think I'm all right now I'll give you adequate warning if I can so I'm running out of the silver now, but that's okay. Um, 
because I'm going to come back in with the topaz anyway. So there we are. Let's have a look at these trees, see what you think. It's so difficult doing glitter, isn't it? Because you can't you can't see it. Right, this is the topaz, so I'm going to put that on my palette. This seems to have a bit of a different different consistency to the Esther's got to go shopping. Oh okay, Esther. Christmas shopping with the munchkins. Oh, have a nice time. Let's just try a little bit of this and see what it looks like in case. It's not what we want. Oh, yeah, that's all right. So I'm going to be guided by the turquoise that, you know, is printed out and sort of go over that section uh, with this turquoise glitter glue. I'm kind of more stippling this on, really, because it, it does have a very definite colour, whereas the silver... Seem to be silver glitter in a it, just a clear method of delivery. I don't know how else to say that. There we are. So we just need a little bit down the edge. I might involve my a very thin brush here, see if it, it'll stand up to carrying this glitter. Yeah, just about. Maybe. No. Well. Well, no, but yeah. I'm glad I put the silver on first. Because I don't want to add too much of this turquoise. It, it, it is very turquoise. Which is what you'd expect. I mean, that's what it looks like in the bottle. So has everybody got all the Christmas shopping and stuff that got what you're going to eat and stuff like that? Maybe it's a bit too early actually to have all that in. We are going to go early. Well, Mr. F's going to go early next week and get whatever food it's going to tide us through until after New Year, hopefully. So we don't have to brave the shops again. The COVID situation around here has taken a dramatic turn for the worse. Um, so we don't really want to be going out, you know, if we can help it. It was last Christmas that I had flu and pneumonia and a collapsed lung. <laughs> so I don't really want to be repeating anything like that again. Um, so I'm staying in and avoiding everyone. The postman leaves whatever he brings on the doorstep and knocks on the door and walks away. So that's excellent. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just have to go out and get some a bit of shopping. So that's Mr. F's job next week. Because I think the nearer we leave it to actual Christmas Day, just the worse it's going to get. I mean, I remember being in Marks and Spencer's one Christmas Eve and blimey, you'd have thought the shops were shutting forever. People with two and three trolleys worth of stuff. How many people are they feeding? There must be massive wastage. But however, however, we'll all get through, no doubt. Hopefully. Right, so that's that's the top bit done. I'm just going to put a little bit on this little bow down here. Goes quite a long way this with this tiny little brush, I must say. Ah, uh, right. Oh, I've got another little bow look down here, so I'm just going to turquoise it up a bit and I'm not being exact by any stretch you can still see the printed bow through it and you get the idea that there's a bit of turquoise there 
Right, so what we've got left now then is the tree, are the trees, should I say. I might need more than that, but so just kind of roughly dotted in, I think, is the way forward. Oh, it's looking nice. I'll show you in a sec. Thanks for joining me. Can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Looking very wintry, which is great because we don't necessarily want it to be Christmassy, which it isn't. I've purposely chosen this one that is just winter um, and not Christmas. And I chose it because I was going to make it my dessert because I. Joking apart, I am trying to make a journal that is 12 journals long. That is every month of the year. And I bought this kit because I thought it would be a fabulous December kit. And then someone who shall remain nameless decided they wanted to buy it. And um, so now I haven't got a December month. So I'll start again in January. I'll try and do a January one. <laughs> Just a little touch more. Just a little bit more. Just going to dot some on this little tree here. Because he'd feel left out and that's just no good. Well, like I said, it's just little, little dots here and there. It all just takes time, doesn't it? Down the trunk. There we are. Right, show you what I've done. So that's the tree. There you go, you can see it, I think. And the little tree. And then the icicles at the top. All looking very icy in the roof on the house. Yeah, okay, so you can see what I've been up to anyway. Um, could you bring me a pot of water, do you think? Because I don't necessarily think I've probably finished with these, but I don't want going hard. Thanks. Right, so let's see what damage we've done to the inside of that. Well, not masses. Not masses of damage. But there is, look, it is a bit wrinkly. And seeing as it's the cover, I think, um, I think I'd be happier. I'm going to put some silver on there. Poor Mr. F's just washing the brushes out. Now I want to put more silver on. Just on the ground here. Just looks a bit bit bare. Hi Mike. You love the glitter. I don't know if you're down as a glitter guy. Oh no, I think I might have a oh no. I might have a blockage. Sorry, I know you've just washed them out. I'm gonna use one straight away. Right. Let's see if I can unblock my glitter. Yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness. Just want to put some on the ground. I forgot about the ground. So. Don't want it all over. But nearly all over. But not absolutely all over. And I'm just going to put some just on the bottom of the windows because they've got snow on. Oh, 
I think that's probably enough. I've got I've got loads of this still out, so I don't know quite what to do with it. Oh, let's add it to the roof, shall we? It's a bit of a waste, to be honest, because I, I thought I had plenty on there. But it'd be more of a waste if I left it on there and it dried. So this is what you might call now totally glittered up. I would say that's everything off there. Right, that's I'm definitely finished with this page now. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Put that in there, put my palette over there. Right, so that just needs to go somewhere really to dry. I do like that topaz glitter. It's it's very nice. It's added a really nice touch to those Christmas trees. I'm not sure you can see. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. So I'll put that somewhere to dry. And this is going to be the back of that sheet, which will get decorated in its own good time. But let's move along the bus. Right. Bring the rest of the journal in. So that's just going to remain as it is, as this lovely piece of handmade paper. This page is done completely. Looks very pretty. Uh, that's done as well. Looks pretty. Then we've got um, the this, which is the ledger paper. I'm not sure that I actually want to do anything to it. I inked it up this morning uh, just to see what it looked like with the idea of putting um, a pocket onto it. Um, which I might do actually. I also might put a, a bookmark in there. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Right, so I'll take that out. Because it's only a, a single signature, we might as well decorate everything up that we, we can. So these are out of Lona Taylor's Winter's Magic, Taylor made journals on Etsy, Winter's Magic Junk Journal Kit. And Lorna gifted me this kit and I've certainly, <laughs> well, I was going to say I've had my money's worth out of it, but it was a gift. Um, but it's, I've used it quite a lot, uh, as you will have seen if you've been following me over the weeks. Uh, I'll put the foxy one on because he's lovely. They're all lovely. I love the other one, the one with the owl. Not so much for the owl, more for the blue tip that's on there with him. Cute little blue tit on there. So for new starters, don't worry about this. Don't worry about gussets or anything like that. I will show you over Christmas what to do. And then you will be raring to go. Making your own journals and your own pieces. I'm just going to cut that at a bit of an angle, like so. And I can't see where that is. It's there, I think. So I'm just going to cut that at an angle to there. And a different angle out. Okay. So the little card that um, the kit provides to go with it is this little one here with the foxy, which matches perfectly like that. But the foxy's got a little blue tip friend look. Yay. Yay for the blue tips. And you could you could cut this out with your um, your knife and ruler, with your quilting ruler and your rotary cutter. Uh, I'm just doing this. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I thought it would be quicker, I guess. Right, so that's the card that goes in the pocket like that eventually. 
Um, but I think it maybe needs a little bit of glittering up. Why not? So let's bring in the glitter board. I'm going to glitter both of them actually. Well, no, maybe not the card because the card's got to slip into there, hasn't it? So if it's glittery, it might impede its progress. So just the pocket then, just the pocket. And uh, I'm going to get some... I'm going to put my silver stickles out over the top of where I had the topaz ones and see if I can mix them both together. I doubt it. The topaz ones are probably dry, as dry can be. But I'll give it a try. Oh, no, I think they might be mixing a little bit. Yeah, well, possibly. Yeah, who's to say? Who's to know, eh? So I'm going to come down this tree trunk here. Not very much glitter on my brush. I think it's because it's wet. Or damp, should I say. Let's dry, dry, dry it off. Uh, and up, up this tree as well. I feel like I've met this tree before somewhere in this journal. It seems quite familiar to me, which I'm sure I have. Do any of you watch the shopping channels? Honestly, I, I don't buy anything off the shopping channels because you can invariably find it cheaper elsewhere. Um, but don't they do very good demonstrations? I think so anyway. They really um, give you some good ideas. If I do much more of this, I'm going to have to buy some more stickles. So I just want some on the ground. Maybe a bit more up there. Just generally around and about the place. I must say one thing, the postage in this country and America at the moment is shocking. I've sent things off so long ago now, it's embarrassing that they haven't arrived. Um, I know they do eventually get there, um, but honestly, that LP that was sent to me from this country, when I looked at the postmark, it said the 7th, I think. I mean, you know, we're talking weeks for things to get here, and that's within the country. I appreciate that it's a busy time of year and I appreciate that they probably have people off with COVID, etc, etc. But blimey, it, first class is a joke. I dread to think what would happen if you sent something second class. So for all the people that I have sent things off to the States, um, it, it will get to you, I'm pretty sure of that. But which year? Who knows? Right, so that's that. Because I've got some glitter left, I'm just going to glitter this other one rather than waste my glitter. So just on the ground there. It's pouring with rain. Just, it's fine. See how much more I can scrape off here. Uh, do that tree trunk. And this tree. I can't get any more off there, I don't think. It's, that's all I can get. Anyway, that's that's fine. Right, so let's stick this... Um, well, well, I want to stick this to some... Could you reach me a sheet of the thicker card that's out there, the A3, please? I'm going to back, back my card onto uh, white because I don't think that coffee stained is right for this journal. So I'm just going to use um, some white card. That's a bit cockeyed, that bit up there. Still a bit cockeyed. Hi 
Hi, Candice. Thank you very much indeed. This is white card, it's 230, is 50. it? 250. Um, and I'm just going to use that to stick onto there and then cut round it and give it a bit of body. A bit of body. So I'm going to use my collar. Haven't inked it yet, I'll ink both sides uh, when I've got it cut out. I did get some Cosmic Shimmer Glue from Hilda, thank you very much, uh, in the week. And I tried it out briefly, but not enough to give a definitive answer of uh, how I liked it. I, I, I did like it, and it didn't buckle my paper. Um, it's a kind of short answer, but I haven't really done enough with it to say... You know, I love it, and I've used exactly... Solved, solved the mystery of the album. Oh, right. Where's it come from? Sorry, where's it come from? I can't... Jean. Oh. It's come from Jean. She sent it from eBay. Ah. Oh. So we don't know the person that it came from. Ah, oh, right. Oh, Jean. Oh, you lovely, lovely lady. Thank you so much. You are one kind lady. Thank you, Jean. I knew it had to be somebody who knew me quite well to know my love of all things Edith. Oh, Jean, that's made my day. I mean, it was really kind of whoever sent it anyway. Of course it was. But to know it was you, I don't know, it just makes it a little bit more special. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, I'm going to have to cut this with my ruler because it's, I've made a, you know, as we thought, I've made a pig the ear of it. And it's given me an excuse to buy a record player. Well, yes. Indeed. I don't know why it is I can't use scissors. I mean, I just... You know, cut enough lines, you would think, wouldn't you, really? But just, just can't. And that's all there is to it, I just can't. Let's do that that way. Okay. I mean, look at that, it's quite a way out. <laughs> Oh dear. So while I've got it here, let's ink it. And I'm using, for this one, I'm using the Distress Ink Faded Jeans. And I like the ink coming quite a way in, actually. I've been on this bent since I did the Holly Jolly with the Crimson Kiss ink. I really like it coming into the into the page. Like that. Let's do the back as well. of truth in a minute while we work out if this piece actually fits where we want it to go. Right, that's nice. Now then, let's just take my Tim towel and wipe this off. I don't really want to transfer it anywhere. I don't want it to be. So Lorna has kindly put some marks in where one is supposed to bend this, fold it. So I'll follow her lines, like so, 
and on the other side like so and then on the bottom oh, we haven't got any lines on the bottom just have to judge it from there to there that look about right before I fold it in yeah I think so right so I just run my bone folder over <laughs> over all of those lines that we've just scored like that there we go right so here's the piece that we want to put it onto look at that you'd think it was just made for it which I suppose ostensibly it was um and let's just check that that fits in yes fabulous lovely right so let's get this bit stuck down our job's made slightly easier because it's gridded paper so uh that helps us with that glue So have you managed to get all your Harry Potters finished, Jean? I hope so, because the big day is approaching. I bet you never want to see Harry Potter again in your life. Um, yeah, that's the right way. Hopefully she managed to sort out the page that dropped out. Oh no! Oh no! Right, so I've got it closer to this side than this side because this is the spine side and I've followed up a line that's in in the uh, on the ledger paper I'll get my towel and push that down firmly and the towel will pick up any excess glue that there might be around there we go Doesn't that look smart looks lovely um, you shouldn't really put your cards in till, till the glue's dry because otherwise you'll come back and your glue your card will be glued in <laughs> and don't think i'm joking about that it happens all the time <laughs> so i am just gonna leave that out just for a second or two until that's dry and let's put the one on on the other side shall we this time i think i might just cut it out using the ruler first off because it does seem to be uh, the best way forward it's kind of in and out this edge so I hope I've, hope I've got it right With it, with it being a lot of white right on the edge, it's kind of hard to see where it is, actually. This must... This is slightly different, I think. Let's get right along there. This one fits, I don't know. I thought it was the same size. I'm talking to myself. Does anybody else talk to herself when they're crafting? I, I really do do a lot of talking to myself. You don't always get the answer you want either, to be honest. Sometimes your other self says, no, I don't like that. Well, that, that must... Shimri says hi. Hi, Shimri! And Linda says, this is the first time I've noticed Miss P using both hands equally well. I am amazed. I think it. I think it's something to do with being left-handed, actually. Because like, I can read writing 
upside down or back to front equally as well as I can read it kind of the right way around. I don't know, it's a strange, strange thing. Why is that? That shape? That one isn't. I don't know, it must just have a square bit along along the top. Anyway, never mind, let's let's not worry about that. It's not gonna be the end of the world, whatever. So that's where those lines meet up. And I think that's where they meet up. So I'm just gonna cut my um, little angles in. Fold down the lines. Sorry if this is a boring one. Is this a boring one? I'm really sorry if it is. Well, at least I've calmed down from the ridiculous giggles that I, that I had earlier. <laughs> and then this folds in. I'm just I'm gonna have to check this for width because I don't know what looks wider. I don't know why that would be. Right, let's just see if it fits on there. Yeah, of course it does. It's just a different shape, which is all right. It's entitled to be. Um, so I'll just, I'm going to cut this out while I've got my ruler and stuff out. Because the last time when I freestyled it, it didn't go so well. <laughs> So, new year, new start, eh? What shall we start in the new year? Which project shall we begin? What would you like to see me do in the new year? It's hard to get away from Edith, isn't it? She's a hard lady to pass. And I have a, a challenge from the lovely Jen. Uh, to put Edith in a grunge journal. <laughs> and never want to, um, you know, pass that sort of thing by. I'm going to take it on. Why not? Who said you can't have Edith in a grunge journal? So thanks for that, Jen. That's um, interesting. Who knows how it'll end up, but I'm all for giving it a go. I really am. Thank you, my dear. Okay. You find room for it. <laughs> Not really. Let's back this once again onto that white paper card. I want it to have enough substance that you can write on it, you know, without. Uh, doesn't matter if the glue comes squidging out the sides because I'm going to cut it off. Just leave that to dry for a little minute. Uh, this one, we've got it. I think there's enough um, glitter on there. I'm just going to ink round it. Did I ink round the last one? No, I didn't. It's a bit remiss, isn't it? Let's see if I can still do it. Just up there would be nice. You cut it, you ink it is the rule. Well, I've cut it and I didn't ink it. That's fine. That's enough. The rest is fine. Um, but this one... Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's suitably festive today. Up a bit. Mm -hmm. It's a candy cane from Sugar Mama. <laughs> from, from Sugar Mama. Thank you so much. So I'm going to make sure I ink this one before I... Uh, Stick it in, it's just a bit easier, of course. If 
for those of you with grandchildren, great grandchildren, etc., or even little ones of your own, um, well, more so little ones of your own, this is a very exciting time of year, isn't it? Um, and I imagine that the kids by now are past themselves with excitement. I got some bulb clips that I bought myself. So I can't say I didn't get anything for Christmas. I mean, what's wrong with bulb clips? Fantastic present. There we go. Right, so I'm going to stick this onto here. Kind of, I'm going to kind of use that line there as my judge, my grid. Jim wants to know if the challenges are going to continue. Yeah, they'll take five. For yes. sure, for sure they are. She was wondering about what sort of journal to keep them in. Well, we had a debate about this as well the other day about what to do with them. Um, and it's kind of not so bad for me because I always choose a theme that uh, kind of fits into what I'm doing. So I can use them in that, you know, in that manner. As for you lot, what can you keep them in? Can anybody come up with an idea of what to keep the tape fives in? Um, I'm thinking, this is me thinking. So I want that about there. I mean, you could do it in a journal where you made each page in keeping with whatever it is I've asked you to do. But that, look, that sounds like a whole heck of a lot of work. So get that stuck down. Like so. There we go. And I'm not going to, I'm going to ink. Oh, I haven't even cut it out. Let's cut this out first before we get carried away about what we're going to do with it. I'll find my black handled scissors are best for this. You can sort of get up to the ridge of the paper. I'm just going to cut it out because it, this is A3 and it's, it's a bit unwieldy. I just ordered some more um, matte photographic paper, double sided. It's expensive, isn't it? Jen said she meant that maybe you could help us to create a journal or folio to keep them in. <laughs> Jen, you are what my granddad would have said, a bugger lugs. And don't ask me what it means. I don't think it actually ever meant anything. It was kind of his pet name for me when I was little. Um, and I think it just meant you were an imp. Let's say that, an imp. <laughs> Um, and that's exactly what you are, Jen. You want me to do, you've challenged me, which you know I wouldn't turn down a challenge, of Edith in grunge. In grunge. Edith in a corset. Oh, don't even say that. Um, and, now, and now something to keep all your take fives in. Hmm. Hmm. Good moment for radio. <laughs> um, yeah, leave it with me. Leave it with me. I'll come up with something. I will. It's a good idea, that, actually. Because then maybe we can have take fives that are making a page. You know, making the whole page. Talking about take fives, I haven't seen very many of this week's take five, the altered paper clip, or whatever it is you choose to do with your paper clip. Yours is fantastic, Jen, on your tiny little paper clip that you've got. <laughs> when I saw it, I just saw, I was sitting on the on, in my chair watching the TV, and I just so wanted to get up and do one. It was really, oh, I haven't done the back side of that. <sighs> not concentrating, that's your problem, you're not concentrating. Yeah, but I think an altered four inch paper clip that's kind of, it's great. I'm really pleased you did it. 
Yeah, I think the only thing I can think of to keep all these things in is sort of... I mean, people have ephemera folders. But frankly, I've got so much ephemera, I'd need, you know, ephemera folders times 10. And I prefer to just keep them in a drawer. Um, leave it with me. You never know what I might think of or not. Right, so let's have a look then. That goes into there. I need to get my bone folder out. That's it, I just stuck the edge down. There we go. Right, so that goes into there. That's nice actually, I like that. And on the front we've got the foxy and he goes into there like that. So that's nice. I like what we've done with that. It's fairly plain, but you know, better than being completely plain. So that's there. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Ah, yes. Didn't I say I was going to make a bookmark to go in there? Ah, yes, I did. Come back then. Right. I have purchased um, another kit. And I don't ask me what it is because I can't blink in remember. It's this sort of turquoisey uh, Christmas one. And it was this image that sold it to me, actually. I really like it. And then I think that's a little chickadee on here. Um, that's a, a boo-boo. Uh, there was a printing mix-up. Um, but I think that this might make a nice bookmark. And I think I could have the tree at that side and the deer at the other. So let's just see what width I need this. It's got to um, line up the margin, which I need to cut out. Let me cut that down there, down the side of the of the deer. And I can see what width I need to make it. So there's his antlers there. So let's just get that squared off there and cut that out. Blimey Jean, I would have never have guessed it was you that sent that. Thank you so much. Honestly. You people, you're just incredibly generous. What a fabulous group we've got. And if you're watching this and you're not in our Facebook group, you really should be. It's populated by the most wonderful band of people ever. We're just so fortunate, so fortunate to have such a lovely group of people. Right, so I want to cut that off about there. Okay, let's just get that straightened up along the bottom and along the side. So that's going to be three and a quarter inches. I think that's a good size. I'm quite happy with that. I'll keep that just in case I need it for something. One never knows. And I well I'll cut this bottom bit off because. Uh, it was letter size, not A4, so it had a. It's got a border, top and bottom, as you do. So this little insert of this um, ledger paper has turned out to be a big job, but that's okay. Right, so open that up, and this is going to go into here like that so how tall do I want it I'd like it to be about there I would say so let's chop that off and then we can cut the other one to the same size for the other side and there we go and keep that because that's a nice piece so where's my other bit of paper gone? Here it is. This is going to have the tree on it. So it's going to go from there. 
I'm just I'm going to do it on the other side and that way then you won't see the um, line around it from my pencil Everybody chatting or are they bored? Have I bored them? <laughs> no, they were just talking about the take fives. Ah, oh, right. And how many people are on the naughty step. For not doing them. Mm. That naughty step is overpopulated this week. But, you know, you have got time to do it. You it's don't have to have it done by Tuesday. It's an entire staircase. It is. It's a naughty staircase. And it's a bad time of year, I'd have thought, to be on the naughty step. Just saying. Three and a quarter, so let's get this at three and a quarter as well. Get it squared up, top and bottom, three and a quarter, lovely. Should be just about where my line was, hopefully. Wow, bang on, fantastic. Right, so let's back this, these onto some um, white, some of that white card, because they're a bit too flimsy like this. There's 120 GSM paper, but they are they're too flimsy to write on. They're, not, they're nice cards, aren't they? I mean, this one in particular is gorgeous. I'm just going to have a mouthful of my coffee, seeing as it's here. Jen, you know what? She, I bet she was real trouble at school. Because she hasn't got any better now. She's going to stop doing the take five just so she can be on the naughty step. She's a bad influence. It's true. I mean, look at Mike. He was such a nice lad. I know. <laughs> oh dear. We're only joking, people. <laughs> Nobody take it to heart. Uh, right, no, it was this that I was after, wasn't it? So, and my glue. What time are we at, anyway? Quarter past three. Oh, all right, yeah. You don't have to stay, you know, guys. I will be offended, but you can go. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> Is Nancy on today? Have you seen Nancy? Have you seen Nancy, Mr. Uh, no. Oh, I hope she's all right. Flo's making a chocolate ganache tart for the people on the naughty step. <laughs> Make room. Here I come. Could I, could I tempt you, Flo, to also make one of those delightful looking Victoria sponge cakes that you made? Because they just looked so that It just looked so gorgeous. I mean, I thought about it for days and I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> it looked totally gorgeous. And I really needed it. I'm going to try and push really hard this week and try and get this uh, finished. Because I'd like to not have to do it over the holidays, really. Because I've got loads of stuff that I am already doing over the holidays. Lots of things that you will see in the new year. And some which will come to light maybe over the holidays, I don't know. Right. There we go. It is so black here. I mean, it's almost pitch black outside. 
Right, so I'll push them down because, as I say, I'm not fussed about glue coming out because I'm going to cut off the white, obviously. And Michelle wants to know if tomorrow is the last live to left the first of the year. The last live until the 8th, I think it is. Is it the 8th? So. We're having two full weekends not doing lives. Christmas and New Year, so yes, it will be yeah. around about the 8th-ish. Yeah, it's 8th, 9th, whichever's the Saturday after that, you know, around the 8th or the 9th. Because um, we want two full weekends off, and, and you know, I hope you don't begrudge us it. Things to catch up on. Well, there is. Cricket darts. <gasps> Find out where the former Mrs. Mistress lives. Oi. Oi. I don't think I can put a corset in the Edith one, you know. I, ju I just couldn't do that to her. You know what I mean? She's so prim and proper. No, I couldn't put a corset in the Edith one. Right, I need to remember to ink round these, even though the ink is blue, very blue, and these are kind of more tealy sort of colour. But I'll do them in the same blue as I've done everything else and bring them together. People say they're going to miss you. Oh, I will be doing videos. There will be videos popping up all the time, I'm hoping. Um, but I know what you mean. It's I know that I really will miss doing the lives because I always feel like I feel like I'm in your company. You know, each and every one of you, I feel like you're right here. So yeah, it will be a miss. But for the good of my uh, health and temper, I'm gonna just recharge the batteries for a couple of weeks and do other stuff around. You know, relating to the group, but not uh, lives. Lives can be quite tiring, actually. And I know, I know you wonder why, because I'm just sitting here rambling on, not doing much. But they can actually be quite tiring. And when we finish on a Sunday evening, I'm usually really quite tired. Which is why, if anybody messages me at that time, I'm sorry, I don't get back to you for a while. Um, it's because I'm just sitting there. <gasps> Vegging. Yeah, this looks quite nice with the blue ink around it. It's bluing it up a bit. And a bit on the back. Did anybody say what they want me to do in the new year? <laughs> uh, no. No? Right, so that's one. I'm not going to glitter him. I think he's... For the moment, I'm not going to glitter him. Might come back at some stage and put some glitter there, but not, not at the moment. And he fits in there really rather nicely. I could put some words along there, might do that. That's a good idea. Uh, let's ink around this one. Let's just get rid of that in case. Ooh, that's a big blue splotch. I'm gonna have to seriously blue this edge up to keep up with it. really blue but that's okay I 
You won't see them both together anyway when they're in the journal. One will be at, towards the front and the other towards the back, so it'll be all right. Looks nice actually when it's blue. Inking, 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 stinking inking. Right, okay. So let's just wipe the excess off there, put that away, find some. People are liking the idea that Edith grunge with a floral yeah. corset. A floral corset? Oh. Oh, I see. That is a good idea. Right, so that's our two. Um, don't think I'm not thinking about this just because different words are coming out of my mouth. <laughs> that's the two bookmarks, journaling cards, whatever you choose to call them. That's uh, like that, which is fine. I'm happy with that. Um, and this is how it'll look in the journal. So you do that, you open that up, then you open that up. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm happy that that is actually enough for uh, that. Although I do think it perhaps needs some words. I don't know where the words are. There, found them. As easy as that. Whoever would have thought it. If you think it for a minute, you could show that again. Jen didn't see that. Ah, oh, right. It's just asking Jean. Ah, well, this is it, Jen. Look at it. It's an LP. Look at look at the imagery it's fabulous and then prepare yourself because when you open it up look at that look at them like i was saying when i showed it the first time in the actual diary itself the book itself this is always an image that i skip over august because it's always I don't know, it looks a bit sort of dull and boring. But on this, whatever they've printed it on, it's really vibrant and it's look I really love it. Um and the birds in September obviously. And move over to there. Isn't it glorious? The birds on the frame. It's absolutely beautiful. Those images are fabulous really really gorgeous and then on the back there's this little frieze along the bottom isn't that lovely so yeah that is my present from Jean and I'm so thankful Jean thank you very very much indeed thank you I really mean that frame that. Mr F's got designs on framing it and putting it on the wall Frame it in two parts, two squares. So what, which words am I going to put on here? Um, I don't know. I do not know. I've got my decalaged scissors out. <coughs> uh, I could have, I could have dashing through the snow. That's quite a long one and it doesn't fit everywhere, so... Yeah, I love dashing through the snow. other side like the idea of a bird journal a bird journal what did i say to you last night i said bird journal you did 
We've got enough books on the shelf. Yeah, we do. I've got winter one. Oh, every winter has its spring. Let's have that. That's lovely. Every winter has its spring. And along come the little lambs and the buds on the trees. And I love spring. I love it. I really, really love it. I appreciate every single day. When you go out and you see the little lambs gambolling in the field. Oh, I love it. Such excitement when you spot the first little lamb. <laughs> At least it is for me. <laughs> Let's cut that end off there. Right, so I, th I think they're nice. I like those. just wondering if I can get some ink on that paper behind it. It's going to end in disaster, so no, I'm not going to. I'm just going to take my brush and just put a bit, little bit. No, that's not working either. I need to get the board out. Every little job turns into a bigger one, doesn't it? There, it's only a tiny little bit of blue, but I think it's just knocked it back a little bit. Right, let's get those stuck on. I think they'll stay in place when the signature's sewn in and that's folded over I don't think there's much room for them to move to be honest <clears throat> so I'll just get them stuck on every winter has its spring lovely there we are This one dashing through the snow. We've got a reindeer, or the deer at least, in the pocket, so in the card, so he can be dashing through the snow. As they do, they do dash through the snow. Uh, so it's on this one, and it's about there, I'd say, it's about central. There we go. That's grand, lovely. Um, in the future, like the last thing that I do, I will get my heat tool out and I will set some gems on some of these. So sort of, you know, randomly around the place. Um, but I'll make that the last job that I do and then I can see where everything needs to be, etc. So that's going to go on there. Um, and then this, is that right? Yeah, I think, I think so. No, I think that was actually on the outside. Like so, and that, like that. And then our right side page, which I've now lost. Did you take that away to dry? Yeah. I thought you this thing. That thing, yes. <laughs> this thing. Oh, I think maybe you can see it a bit more sparkly now actually it's dried. See it on the trees and the roof and the icicles. Ooh, look at that. Right so that's going to be the outside. It's going to be, it hasn't actually done that much damage to, to the inside. I might not even need to put the other piece in there actually. So there we there we have it. That's it uh, as it stands. And as I say, I'm going to put some lace down the outside of here, just so you can't see this stepping out so much. Just to 
hide it so it'll look like that okay right well guys i think we're kind of um where's jean's hand let's get one of jean's hands on the job and keep that shut ah, they're brilliant they are right i shall see you tomorrow at two o'clock i'm very grateful to you for staying with me today as i know it hasn't been one of the most exciting ones ever but it's all this sort of stuff you've got to do isn't it um in order to get a, a nice finish on your journals so i'll see you tomorrow <coughs> excuse me uh, minus the frog hopefully um and we'll see what we're doing tomorrow <laughs> see what i feel like okay guys thanks a lot you take care now Bye. Bye. Take care. See you tomorrow.